Hello. Me me train. Me train good. Well, arguably good. Uh hello, hi. Well, welcome back to another episode of Monster Train. Me Cranberry, how's it going? Hopefully you're having a good day today. Uh nothing new to talk about. There's never anything new to talk about, really. Let's play train. Hopefully you're having a good one. I woke up, not like super recently, but pretty recently, so I'm a, I, I would say like 12% groggy, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, we got Soul Guard, one of my, one of my ex-favorite champions, now just kind of middle of the pack, I feel like, but you know, not bad, not ha not, not upset to see Soul Guard. Um, however, we have Melting uh, Remnant as our, as our, as our secondary clan, with uh, some pretty bad starting spells for Soul Guard too. It's looking pretty grim here as far as our starting deck right now. A uh, crit builder is cool, especially with the foregone power start. But we're gonna have five dregs, and then also two molten encases and a cuddle hex. Our our starting deck way too cluttered with units right now, so I'm a little scared. And we're getting Seraph the Diligent, who hates spell slinger decks too, especially if you rely on a specific card. So I am. Ter terrified is the wrong word, but I'm not excited about this right now. Fade's first blade. Like, pretty, pretty horrific here. I guess I'll just take Pyro Sun Housing. We'll see what we can do with it. Um, we're looking for Titan Channel, I guess. We do get the Titan Channel. Cool. Titan Channel, I like here for the early game because we only need... Well, really, we only need, like, one, you know, cycle of the deck to hopefully turn it on. We'll see how things end up going, but yeah. I like it here. I think we're not taking the Divine Boom. We're playing this very safe because I feel pretty weak in this early game. We have a Russian and Steel Remnant banner, so that's cool. Would have loved to see, I don't know, a Stygian banner somewhere. We get one Stygian banner. This is, a, this is a, a nightmare start. I am terrified of this run. I will take the unit draft here. A little scary, but we should be able to hopefully... Pick things off with a combination of Forgon Powers and Dregs here. Do you play bottom floor? I think you go bottom floor here, man. So you can do that. Okay, we can we can guarantee get the, the double spell cast bottom floor here. Although, arguably, we should go Crypt Builder into Foregon Power. Yeah, I think that's technically a little bit better here. It gets both spell casts, and it lets us kill two of these clergymen rather than just one. Can we play this up here to catch the Collector. Okay. Play like that. Let's turn on the Soul Guard down here. We'll take one hit the Pyre there. This is a very good draw, I gotta say. Thank you, Molten Encasement, for uh, saving me. And whatever. These guys don't matter. We already, we're winning bottom floor. Okay. Sequencing there was very lucky for us. Thank you very much, game. Um... We already had two crit builders. Let's grab a let's grab a helix crystal here. Maybe that'll help out a little bit. I think we're gonna be forced to play some sort of burnout deck here because of this this starting configuration. So I'm gonna grab a Wicklash. Or not. Maybe we can play Lodestone Totem, huh? Yeah, let's snag that. And I hmm. I think we're supposed to go right side and look for some look for some defensive upgrades for the Lodestone Totem, but I can also see going left side and just finding, uh, lowering the cost of some spells, maybe. But we only have one spell that we care about lowering the cost of, really, and that's Helix Crystal, because our Forgon powers should hopefully play our Crypt Builders. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's all fucked up, man. I guess I'm going to go right side. 
We get a plus 25. That's pretty tight. What's in here? This is going to be a skip. For sure. Because I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident we're going with... with we're, we're going big on uh, incanting here with the with the, the lodestone totem now, and we're gonna have to we're gonna have to remove cards pretty aggressively to make this work. So let's remove a train steward. Put our plus twenty five on the lodestone totem. Go to the temple, purge stone, twin stone. Very tempting to put a twin stone on foregone power. But I think that's not worth it. I think we're just keeping our shard count as low to the ground as possible here. We do need units desperately here. And I think with this sap plan, hopefully we'll not take too much pyre damage here. If we give them armor. We'll see how things go. It is nice that Soul Guard lets us dodge uh, sap. It is pretty tight. Fuck you, by the way. Um, okay. Just start incanting. Cool, love that. Big, big fan of all of this so far. Really... <laughs> Really loving this these draws. <laughs> Fuck me. God damn it. Okay, well. We sap them up there for a round, but then they immediately, you know, come back up here as strong as ever. Good hit, good hit. Wiping out the floor there, that's nice to see. Just playing all of these units the best we can so that way they're not taking up space on this miserable floor anymore. Should have played those bottom floor, I think, actually as well. Because now we yeah, now we don't have space for everything here. Okay. You go here. None of that really matters too much. Cool. Everyone, great work, great work. Give me the offering token, please. Please, please, please. Honestly, just as a spell. Just as a filler spell, I'll take Hollow Drippings here over Wicklesh, I think. We're not playing Burnout. But I think it's fine. I like Guard as, a, as an infusion onto the uh, Lodestone Totem, I think. That's okay. And then we go right side because we love this game. We love the the abundance of uh of of uh, what's it called here for us. We love the abundance of uh shit brain broke brain actually just straight up broke. Uh, banners, banners. That's the word. Love the abundance of Stygian banners on this run. Really appreciate it. We're going to roll here. If we see like some sort of really good upgrade, which just doesn't exist for us, really. We'll, we're looking for HP upgrades for the Lodestone Totem right now, basically. but Or or the, the Incant ones. Yeah, there we go. Worth. But yeah, if there was some sort of like really amazing upgrade in there, we could uh, get the Divine Boon if we needed it. But whatever. Um, I'm okay with a Woken Rail Spike, I think, here. Just because there's going to be plenty of hands, we're, we're just desperate for any spells. We draw a hand just full of units that we don't need. So I like that. We're against Damage Shield Talos, or not Dialog Talos. Uh, oh, it wasn't even, I thought it was going to be Damage Shield Daedalus from the symbol, but no, it is Talos here. Very scary. How angry are you? Not, 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 not that angry. Okay, cool. Um, I don't even care about the stealth here. Just hit me with this. Um, I 
Boom. Soul Guard is on. That's, that's, that's maybe my best opening turn in, like, ever. That's cool. Love these guys. Love these little guys here. Just get them the fuck out of my deck. Just incant up. Put this so we don't discard it. Get it out of our deck. We, we just need to remove so many cards, man. <laughs> Wherever those removals, that's where we're at right now. God damn you. Okay. We'll get him, bud. Honestly, it could be going worse. Could be going much worse. I think we do... Okay. I accept. Yeah, we're already wiping this floor, although eh, let's 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 get some frosties here. Okay. We win. But I am annoyed at the bad spells we drew here. As in three units. God damn it. It could have been really bad if we didn't, you know. I don't know, have Soul Guard. Could take Sacrificial Resurrection here as a way to kill some of these spells that are not doing anything, aka units. Siren Song also seems pretty good. Um. I'm going to take Resurrection here. I haven't played with it too much. Just seems like maybe it'll be useful. Siren of the Sea, a unit we can actually play. Loving that. I think we're taking card draw here too. Oh my god, beautiful. Stygian Banner and removals all together. I can't believe it. Okay. Rain Stewards, get the fuck out. Stygian Banner. Um... I think we can play Titan Sentry in this deck. I think we should... We have no temples this entire time so far. We have one temple at ring two. Okay, I was going to say, it's been a while since we've seen one. Um... Because I want to do a couple things here. I want Guard into the Lodestone Totem. I want self-infused Siren, and I want self-infused Titan Sentry. So that's a lot of infusions. Which we straight up don't have the temples for. We only have... Oh, we have, we have three coming. Okay, we have one, two, three. Um, but the issue is I need to dupe both the Titan Sentry and the Siren, right? So we dupe one here, and we dupe one there. Okay, it works. It does work. The question is, what do you dupe first? And I think you dupe, I think you dupe the Titan Sentry first. I think it's better as the duplication. Ooh, Split Anvil. Cool if we had other spells. <laughs> we, we have expensive spells, but we have no other spells to play, basically, off of it. Like, it's either zero-cost spells or three-cost spells, with a couple of two-costers dotted in there, so not amazing, but it's fine. Take Titan Channel 2. I'm not taking the trial here, because I am a coward. Put that here. Do we want to kill you? I don't think so. I don't think killing that armor man actually matters that much. I'd rather get the incants. Okay. Just what the fuck is really all I have to say about this. I guess we're playing Lodestone Totem here. Okay. 
play these out. Okay, I guess I guess Guard of the Unnamed gets to go on the floor now. What's a good spell? We have to play Wicklash on this floor to turn on Soul Guard. I'm sorry, Guard, but it has to be done. Had to be done. You understand. You knew, you knew the risks. Um. This is really bad because it knocks back the Crypt Bill or knocks back the Clip Guardian, and then. Clip Shaman gets killed by Soul Guard, and then this man walks up and hits the Pyre like twice. Guess we do want in. Oh, there my toss this. Okay, there we go. That down there. God damn you. I was keeping the, I was thinking about playing the train steward first, but I was like, oh I'll keep the train steward in hand. It makes it more likely that we won't discard the foregone power. Discards foregone power. Whatever. It's fine, we win this still. Cool, 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 cool. Um, Drain and Ice Storm both seem pretty good here. I feel like with all the foregone powers, Drain isn't that good. So I think we'll take Ice Storm. Oh, Resin Removal, yes. My hero. Resin Removal, Ring 4. Greatest, greatest pickup in the world. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I want Merchant of Seal, but we just need removals, man. <laughs> The deck's very strong, and I feel like it can get there just maybe on... I mean, maybe I should be duplicating Lodestone Totem. I forgot about that. I feel like we can get there on the back of Lodestone Totem alone, honestly. But, um... We need to do some stuff here. We need to remove this. And I think we get rid of Cuddle Hex next. Where are you, Cuddle Hex? Get the fuck out of this deck, you piece of shit. Get away from me. Hold over. What do we hold over? Not resin removal. Plus ten magic power. It might it might be It should be it should be something zero costed, I think. You know what? Ooh, you know what I kinda like here? With the twin stone, I kinda like I kinda like offering token holdover. Oh you know what? No, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. We have we have a split handle. We should we should hold over. A three coster like a crypt builder. Yeah, okay. We should do this. Lower you to two. Um put this here. Remove I think you go dregs before Molten Encasements, because Molten Encasements do have some good uses here. I feel like. Although I might be wrong about that. We're definitely going to go Shark Self Infusion. And I think maybe we can go with the Lodestone Totem Plan and we don't need uh, a Siren, actually. It's kind of what I'm thinking now. Although I suppose we could go with Siren Infuse into Lodestone for a bit more offensive presence, because I think, I think the Lodestone is going to be decent enough on defense. Either way, Shark goes into Shark here. That's for damn sure. I think I like this Twin Stone too. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, self-made harpy. We do a pretty good job of neutralizing it with the sap. I feel pretty strong right now, actually. I think we can take this, too. Maybe this is me being too aggressive. I don't know. Why? Why would you give me every single one? I, I have... I have four units. Why have you given me every single one in my opening hand? It's absurd. Put this here, I guess. I don't know. Ah. <sighs> I think you pitch this right now. Get this out of here. You're just, oh shit. That's not good. So let's keep encanting up up here. Okay with that. Turning two bad cards into one bad card, basically. There we go. Hanging on by a thread. Like where where? I need you. Lodestone Totem. <laughs> we do put this down, probably. Except I'm dumb. I forgot about Crypt Builder. Okay, well. Um... Oh, we just lose there. Okay, so yeah. If we just lose this whole fight because of this horrific opening draw. I don't know, man. Okay. Let's try this differently. Let's put let's 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 trust in Lodestone Totem here. Huh? Let's not I don't know. Honestly, play you for the incant. We had one good turn, and then everything else is just garbage for the rest of the combat. You love to see it. Um. This is pretty good, because this hits you, and then Soul Guard hits you, yeah. Not amazing, but not bad. The Ember Drain. I'm financially ruined. Put this here. 50-50? I hate this game, man. I hate this game, man. Okay. Titan Sentry, potentially useful. So the problem here is that Draft does uh, armor of the overcharged tank. But it does 80 damage. I think that has to be worth it, I feel like. Okay, yeah. Okay, we're hanging on by a thread up there. Uh... 
I'm so upset. <laughs> I'm just so miserable, man. It's a it's a nightmare run, I feel like. How do we, okay, so the multi-strike killed us here. Is there a way we can maybe play bottom floor? Hmm. Okay, let's try. No, I don't think we can play bottom. I think it's just impossible. Okay, let's let's go with this again. I think you don't even play guard. I think guard is just a bait because it, it gives them more armor eventually. You just do this for now. Okay. You know we're drawing foregone power here. Let's just ditch this. Play the crypt builder. Boom. You can have this. You can have this armor here, buddy. Oh, oh you know what? I should have played the drag and then resin removal the ember drain away. Something better. Oh well. Um. None of this matters, man. This. This one. I think this is the same line we took last time we were here. Except slightly, slightly differently. Every time I play this Ice Storm, I, I think this man just lives. Oh, never mind. I died this time. Cool. That's nice. I think Siren here is dying. Looking at the map here. If we chump with a dreg, Siren still dies. Play a drag behind, but well, it doesn't seem that worth it either. We just play these fuckers down here, get them out of our deck. Okay. I hate everything. We're not straight up dead, but there's no way we beat we beat uh, what's his name here. Like it's just not gonna happen on this one. Play this. Play this. Draft comes up here. We whiplash it. Pass the turn. Um. Case is pretty good. We got a draw. Forgone power. Eh. Crypt Builder? No, Crypt Builder? We got so close, man. We got so close. Jesus. I'm willing to give it one more try here, but I think I think that's as close as we're gonna get. We can try the we can try the uh the sap man start one more time, but I think we just die. Maybe there's a maybe there's a line we can take here. 
What I kind of like, I kind of like this. Maybe, maybe we're a little less aggressive with the, uh, the encanting here, right? We get to pick off this sycophant this turn. Maybe that makes a difference. I don't know. We'll see. I think we pitch this here. Play this, yeah, play this the same way, more or less. Try to turn Slow Guard on next turn. Okay, that, that maybe is doable. Can't play Wicklash. Wicklash is, yeah, no go there. Um, God. It's always just so bad when you look at those cards here. Um. I think we need the Sight and Sentry down here to pick off these guys. And then I guess you can go... We can't play Crippled next turn anyway, so I think... I'm supposed to do... Something dumb like this. No, we don't- we don't do Drag Drag there. Go Drag Drag down here. Yeah. Sap a little bit. I still die. I give up. Man. That's just a bad feeling. I mean, we're... I, I, the, I guess the only thing I can say is that the low stun totem was a trap, and that quadruple unit draw. Like, what the fuck? That blew me away. Having having every single one of our draw prior units on turn one just just ruined us. So uh, yeah, unfortunate. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll give you the seed here. I mean, I don't like. I hope you didn't enjoy because it, it was just miserable. It was me just getting my ass kicked over and over again there. Convert sailing acti actively. You know, goodbye.